have a solution when I get home. the situation I face now. Definitely I have to have a solution when I get home. Great! I just found a good contact on the internet. I didn't know there were people who could help pastors to this extent. He clearly promised that he could help pastors fill their congregations in the blink of an eye. And the surprising thing is that it doesn't even require much to do it. I can't wait to meet such a man so that he can help me raise the level of the assembly. No one will be able to make fun of me again. I am very happy to have met him on the internet. I really admire your courage and determination. Like I just told you. I'm going to make you a shoe with magnetized heels that you will now wear wherever you go. This shoe will fill you with power every time you are in congregation and allow you to be a world-renowned mega-pastor. You will never go anywhere incognito again. Heeled shoe for women? What will people think of me when they see me? Oh, you don't have to worry. I will make sure that no one has the courage to come and ask you anything. Your heeled shoes will pass quietly like a letter in the post. None of your faithful will be able to ask you anything, I assure you. Okay, it works. I'm definitely up for it. I want things to change. Perfect. It works, my chicken. You will come back in three days, so I can decode you at night and give you this shoe. Okay, perfect. I'm in. It's square. Everything is good for me. See you in three days then. It works, master. <laughs> I don't even know why some people are in such a hurry in life. With all the glory that I had just seen on this head, he still comes to seek powers here. I have the impression that he doesn't realize the grace he has. Normally it's up to me to go to him, to ask him for powers. It's truly incredible how ignorant some people are. I will take advantage of the access he will give me in three days to take his glory. He will have just a few months of success, and will have nothing but sorrow afterwards. His life will completely mix up, and he will even want to kill himself afterwards. From there, I will take this opportunity to deliver his soul to my master. I know he will be very happy when he learns that I had succeeded in seducing one of his enemies. I am now loaded like never before. I look forward to seeing how things unfold in the assembly soon. My friends, prayer is an intimate conversation between you and the divine whatever your conception of the latter. It is a sacred time when you open your heart and mind to listen and share your thoughts, sorrows, joys and gratitudes. Through prayer you can find inner peace and strength to face life's challenges. Never forget that a Christian is nothing without prayer. May your prayers be a food to your soul and a source of light to the world. Amen. Thank you very much Pastor for your intervention. I truly bless Jesus Christ for all these revelations that you teach us daily. No problem my brother. It's normal. But what do I see at your feet? It's nothing my brother. It's just some clogs that I'm putting on now to correct the pain I often have in my feet. Okay that works. Go now into the peace of my God and may he accompany you. Thank you very much pastor. More fear than harm. Honestly, I was very hot. He almost unmasked me in front of everyone. Luckily I shut his mouth with my words of incantation. I think that soon, he will never be able to do again what he just did today. Because his mouth has been sewn shut forever. Why did you want to see me so much today? I wanted to see you so much, because I wish you would connect me to your spiritual master. Honestly since you told me about him, I haven't been able to sleep. It's like I'm missing out on a big opportunity. I still want to strengthen my powers and be able to seduce my church members again. Okay it works. I'll give you his address at the end before you go home today. Oh great. Thank you very much friend. You are really perfect. If my congregation could also begin to fill up like yours, that would make me so happy. Don't worry Coco. This is just the beginning. I assure you that soon, I will even be known worldwide. No one will be able to resist me again. Okay, you know me too. I also want the same power, to be able to dominate everything that moves. Perfect. We will see all this with my spiritual guide, very soon. Okay that works. I hope everything goes as planned. Of course, there is no reason. 
everything will go well as planned. Okay, that works. As I told you, I came with a friend I told you about recently. He too would like to have the same power as me. Okay, it works. It's perfect. He can come. Okay, that works. You're lucky. I'll be able to decode you today, before you go home. Oh great, thank you very much for your help. No problem my friend, let's go. I've been waiting for him for over an hour now and he still hasn't come back. I think it would be best to go home. In any case he will tell me in the days to come how things went with the master. Come on, let's go, I'm leaving. But what do I see there? He's not our pastor by chance? If it's really him, what is he looking for in front of this house? I'm going to confront him right away. Hello, Pastor. Hello, Paul. How are you? Things are going really well and you? Very good by the grace of God. I saw you coming out of this house earlier. Tell me what are you doing here? Oh, my brother. I have come to evangelize the people who are in this house. Sincerely tell me the truth, Pastor. Since when did you start evangelizing the gurus in their homes? For a long time, Paul. I didn't start this now. I feel in my mind that you are lying to me. How can you lie to the Holy Spirit? I just want to tell you to immediately abandon this path. Because the path you have taken is very thorny. You must know that from today onwards, the devil does not give anything for nothing. Even look at the shoes you started wearing a few months ago. What is all this bullshit, Pastor? Please repent immediately, otherwise the wrath of God may be unleashed on your life. For our God is a jealous God, who does not share his glory. He really hates it when we go see idols. Tell me sincerely, are you ready to endure when God's number one enemy begins to unleash himself on you, because of the small success that he had given you in quotes? Don't you know that Jesus Christ has already paid the price on the cross of Golgotha with his shed blood? Get rid of everything you collected from the devil, otherwise I assure you your suffering will be terribly terrible. But who are you to talk to me like that? Did I tell you now that I serve the enemy of God? I'm so sorry pastor. But you don't need to tell me, because since when a man of God, like women's shoes, high heels for women, also don't forget that I have the Holy Spirit leading me, to talk to you too. If you do not repent, you will only reap sorrow. I've finished talking to you. I am leaving. Good evening to you, and goodbye. Miserable Toad. Who gave you permission to come and talk to me? From today on, you will no longer be under my spiritual cover. I will remove my spiritual umbrella from your head, and you will understand to never disrespect a man of God. No and no effect in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me tell you that it is the Eternal, which is my spiritual umbrella, and as long as I am under its cover, nothing and nothing bad can happen to me. None of your curses can touch me. Okay, I have finished. But what audacity. Who does he think he is? Did he have the nerve to come and speak badly to me? This very evening, I will come to suck his spirit during his sleep. He must understand that I am not his equal, and that we cannot put ourselves on the same line spiritually. But how come I can't get out of my body? To attack this famous Paul, who had disrespected me today? I've really had rage since my convent. I will definitely have him another day. I have to give him a good beating once and for all. Glory be to the true God, who protects me all the time, and who never abandons me. May your name be blessed from everlasting to everlasting. Amen. Really, life is good when you have money. Since I started wearing this shoe, I no longer lack means. Thanks to this shoe, my turnover has drastically increased. There is only happiness in my life. I have more people in my church. I am proud of myself. Who are you? Where do you come from? Help. There is someone. Help me please. Oh, oh, what's happening to me? Ouch ouch. My feet hurt a lot. Oh oh oh. 
I had just taken a wrong step, and I twisted my ankle because of this creature. I am going to call the Samu to come and take me to the hospital urgently, because I am feeling excruciating pain. Ouch, ouch, it hurts a lot. I can't even walk anymore. As I told you my wife, this is what happened to me. I twisted my ankle after that monster passed. My husband, let me tell you that what happened to you is not trivial. If you had not abandoned the path of God, this thing would not have happened. I sincerely think that it is the wrath of God which is falling upon you. Please give up the easy way out, before the worst happens. I won't let you talk to me like that. I have the right to do what I want. Did you come here to give me a moral lesson? Do you think I'm a kid? Don't get angry, my darling. I just wanted to bring you back to your senses. Because for some time you have been losing your way. Ah, it's the doctor. I came to tell you to take courage, because the road will be a little long. What do you mean by the doctor? After what happened to you, I don't think you'll be able to walk again anytime soon. You have a very serious sprained foot. What? It won't be easy for you. However, take courage. The medical team will be with you every day until you're completely healed. All right. And when will I be able to walk again then? Honestly, not before a year of intensive care. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. My husband won't be able to walk for a while. Oh my god, have mercy on us. It feels like the world is collapsing on my head. I won't be able to walk again anytime soon. Who will take care of my church now? Don't worry, darling. The Lord is in control of everything. We have true brothers in Christ in the assembly. They will do the job perfectly. You know, my wife. I think the Lord is punishing me because of my disobedience. If I knew, I should not have turned away from the path of God. Now I am realizing the seriousness of my act, which even pushed me to wear heels. I regret everything I did wrong in the past. I should have sincerely listened to this brother in Christ, who had spoken to me earlier. You surprise me, my husband. Oh brother. Thank you for coming to see me. You are welcome. You know for several months I have been in this hospital, and my situation is not improving, as such. Please pray for me, because I have the impression that the Lord does not listen to my prayers. You were absolutely right when you confronted me last time. If I knew I should have listened to you right now and abandoned the wrong path, I recognize today that I have strayed from the face of God. Do not worry. We will pray together. Remember that God does not want a sinner to die. He is merciful and compassionate. If you are sincere in your repentance, He will forgive you. Repeat this prayer after me. O oh God, I come humbly before you, recognizing my faults and errors. I sincerely regret my past actions, which hurt others and distanced me from you. I ask for forgiveness for all the harm I have caused, whether intentionally or not. I beg you to give me your mercy and grace, and to help me change my ways. Grant me strength and wisdom to do what is right and good. I commit to truly repent and live according to your teachings. Amen. O oh God, I come humbly before you, recognizing my faults and errors. I sincerely regret my past actions, which hurt others and distanced me from you. I ask for forgiveness for all the harm I have caused, whether intentionally or not. I beg you to give me your mercy and grace, and to help me change my ways. Grant me strength and wisdom to do what is right and good. I commit to truly repent and live according to your teachings. Amen. Amen. May the Lord have compassion on you, and may you heal yourself. Amen, brother. Dear friends, you must know that there is nothing more wonderful to worship than the Lord of hosts. Even if sometimes it is difficult, we encourage you to persevere on this path, with humility and with firm faith. For the Lord of hosts never abandons his children. Even if the promise he made to you is slow in coming, stay focused, continue to pray, and to implore his grace and mercy over your life. And you will see for yourself that these promises will ultimately come true for you. Dear shepherds, do not be in a hurry to fill the assemblies with the faithful, to whom you cannot teach the kingdom of heaven. Remember that Jesus Christ said that where two or three people are gathered in his name, that he is already in their midst. You must also know, that there is joy in heaven, 
when one sinner repent on the earth. Let's not really fall into the trap of quantity, but of quality. Let us continue to provide wise, true teachings and advice to the true children of God. Let's not try to please anyone. For if it is truly the Lord of hosts who has called you to serve Him, He will not fail to give you the means to accomplish your ministry. Please never go looking for anything from the enemy to come and serve God. Because he really hates it. It was as if you were calling him helpless and incapable. What would be the point of having a mega church, filled with people who will not benefit from the rapture, from heaven? Dear friends, let us review our priorities. Let's focus on quality, so that we can allow as many people as possible to reach heaven. May God bless you abundantly, and may the peace of the Lord be with you. See you soon for a new video.